The Sikhnet Yogi Bhajan Tantric Yoga Cult Organization is always begging for donations. But when it comes to standing up and protesting the human rights violations and oppression against Sikhs, Sikhnet is nowhere to be seen. And in fact, as this video shows that I present here, Sikhnet board members threatened to arrest and then actually assault a brave Sikh protesting the Indian government's sustained Sikh genocide. Sikhnet's agenda is to get rid of Sikhs. I will show in this video how Sikhnet and the Yogi Bhajan organizations want to get rid of Sikhs. They want to censor them and they want to shut them up. Here is a poster from that event where the brave Sikhs stood up and protested against this Yogi Bhajan Tantric Yoga Cult Organization. You can see the Indian Consulate's logo in the left hand corner. On November 10th, 2017, there was an, an event organized by the Sikhnet Yogi Bhajan Tantric Yoga Cult in conjunction with the Indian Consulate in Los Angeles. The Yogi's Cult, whose current head is Inderjeet Puri, wife of our Bhajan Puri, aka Yogi Bhajan, along with her minions, two of which are Sikhnet controlling board members, were holding an all-day seminar on Guru Gobind Singh Ji, where the Indian cons Consulate officials were being honored with a turban. At the open event, Baisa Bhajan Singh Ji, a Sikh activist from Tracy, California, spoke up strongly to protest against the outright hypocrisy of the Indian officials and the yogis, cult organizers. Since the Indian officials have never once acknowledged and or apologized for the sustained Sikh genocide and the ongoing abduction and illegal detention of many more Sikhs while visiting India, who happen to be foreign nationals. Now many of you have seen this video which has gone viral in the last couple weeks. I want to present to you part of the video where one of the controlling Sikhnet board directors, the daughter of Yogi Bhajan, actually hits Baisab Bhajan Singh Ji, tries to shut him up and censor him. Okay, let me point out the people here involved. This man here is sitting next to Bhajan Singh. His name is Kirtan Singh. I've known him for 35 years. We used to do phone sales, a toner boiler room in Los Angeles, doing these fraudulent activities that Yogi Bhajan had us involved in to make money for his cult. I'm ashamed of it, but I admit that it was wrong and this Kirtan Singh and his partner was the right hand man of the Yogi Bhajan, Hari Jeevan Singh, were eventually charged by the Federal Trade Commission in a field of schemes where they were ripping off elderly people and charging exorbitant amounts for gems. He's one of the controlling board members that controls Sikhnet. Also on the board is Yogi Bhajan's daughter. She's the one who just hit Bhajan Singh Ji. And sitting next to her is her mother, the wife of Yogi Bhajan, Inderjeet Karputi.
Now you've probably all heard about this issue here, where a Scottish Sikh man was arrested on false charges and is now being tortured by the Indian police. Jagtar Singh is his name, and the Sikhnet people have not mentioned anything about this, and they won't, because their agenda is against Sikhs. They want to get rid of Sikhs. They want to censor them and shut them up so they can have their collusion with the Indian government and make more money from their yatras and all of their different activities with the Indian government. And that's what Sikhnet's agenda is, is no less than subsuming Sikhi into this Hindu vata, which is presiding over the Indian government. The Indian government never apologized for the atrocities they leveled against Sikhs in 1984. Now my name is Gursant Singh. You can see me here in the brown coat. I was in Yogi Bhajan group for 30 years, so I have a lot of inside knowledge about what goes on there. This was a picture taken in the 1980s. Now we may not know this, but all of the Yogi Bhajan organizations are tied together. You've probably heard of SeekNet. You can see their logo there. There's 3HO, there's the Kundalini Research Institute, there's Sikh Dharma International, and Midi Pity Academy. Now, this event was actually technically sponsored by Sikh Dharma International, which is one of the Yogi Bhajan organizations. But let there be no doubt about it, all of these organizations are tied together. My understanding is that they pool the donations from all of the organizations and they go into supporting and promoting these different events and unseek like tantric practices of the Yogi Bhajan group. So when your donation goes to SeekNet, it goes into a big pool supporting all these things. Now SeekNet is a big promoter of these Hindu Vata practices. This is a thumbnail from a video that Garuka, the CEO of SeekNet, and Gurmustik, the founder of SeekNet, produced a couple years ago. Why do white Sikhs perform idol worship? And in this video, Garuka tries to make an argument that it's okay for Sikhs to worship idols. He uses a lot of flowery language, a lot of New Age jargon in order to justify this. They even twist your body in order to promote these practices. Yogi Bhajan was a big supporter of the Indian government. As you can see here, his giving a gift to Indira Gandhi. He took students to India back in the 1970s, met with Indira Gandhi. We all know that Indira Gandhi butchered Sikhs and attacked the Golden Temple and the Dabar Sahib there in Amritsar. And Yogi Bhajan colluded with her. I even have a video interview with a Sikh general who claims that he met with Sanjanel Singh Ji before the attack on the Dabar Sahib and Sanjanel Singh Ji told him that Indira Gandhi and Yogi Bhajan were colluding to assassinate him, Sanjanel Singh Ji. And I'll put a link to that video in the description to this video here. Now I mentioned how Yogi Bhajan group and Yogi Bhajan himself where are these Hindu Vata practices? Their goal, and Yogi Bhajan's goal, was to subsume 
Sikhi into this Hindu vata. You can see Yogi Bhajan practicing these Hindu fire pujas. And when I was in 3HL, I thought it was all okay to do these different practices, these, other, these Hindu vata practices. So for me to learn just a few years back that I was practicing something that was totally against Sikhi was a big shock to me. And that is why now I am reaching out and exposing this Yogi Bhajan group so that others are not misled and deceived by all of these unseek like tantric yoga practices that are based in this Hindu vata. Now, Yogi Bhajan's wife is also into this Hindu vata. You can see her here at this last Hindu last rite ceremony that was organized by her and the 3HO Yogi Bhajan Tantric Yoga cult. You can see how they put Yogi Bhajan's ashes in the Ganges. Now, Sikhnat, all the Yogi Bhajan organizations deny that this ever happened, even though there's photo evidence of it. It was in Pramat Nikirtan's ashram's newsletter. You can see this Swami right down there. He was a longtime friend of Yogi Bhajan's. They performed this Hindu Vata last rite ceremony. There's a close-up of Indrajit Karputi, her sons, Kulbir and Ranbir, and her daughter was there too, as well. Let there be no doubt about it. These Yogi Bhajan people, they want to shut up Sikhs, they want to censor them, and they want to subsume Sikhi into this Hindu Vata. Here's more photographic evidence with that same Swami, Indrajit Karputi, Yogi Bhajan there, he was starting to get ill at the time, so she's starting to take over more and more. They're all wearing these red tikas on their foreheads, which is a sign of the eye of Shiva. It's giving loyalty, reverence, and adoration to the Hindu god Shiva, these tikas on their foreheads. Now that long time Swami there friend of Yogi Bhajan on the right. He is an RSS affiliate. He's sponsored the RSS chief at his ashram there in Rishikesh many times. Now I mentioned about Garuka, who is the CEO of Sikhnet. He is into all of these Hindu Vata Tantric practices. And in fact, he published a story in, in an article in, three, in 3HO magazine where he claims to have received Yogi Bhajan's dirty fingernails and put them in his gutka sab next to Gurbani. He calls it the sacred nitnam. And this is the gutka sab that we Sikhs read our bonnies from every day. And this Garuka Singh put Yogi Bhajan's dirty fingernails in there. He thought that he would give him power. Here's the pertinent clips from that article. And you can read it here yourself. But basically, Yogi Bhajan told Garuka, the CEO of Sikhnet, that he would receive a lot of power from these fingernail clippings of his. So he put them in his sacred nitnam. There's the pertinent paragraph right there. You can read it, just stop the video and you can read it completely. This is appalling. Every Sikh should be very angry about this. Garuka Singh should be fired from his post there as CEO of Sikhnet for this alone. He's done many other un -Sikh like things, promoted dancing to Gurbani. He is a horrible example of a Sikh. Now you can see how the Yogi Bhajan followers worship Yogi Bhajan. They're actually creating a new murti of him in there in Espanola where Yogi Bhajan died at his death place. They do this murti puja 
there in Espanola all the time. Right there at his death place where he died. They bow and do prostrations there at his death place. This is totally against Sikhi. Sikhs worship one god, and Guru Gobind Singh Ji told us not to worship at the places of the dead. But the Yogi Bhajan people do that anyway. They're so attached to Yogi Bhajan. They think that Yogi Bhajan in death will give them power if they worship him. This is completely un Sikh like and needs to change. Now, Yogi Bhajan named their Dara there a Munder. There's an inscription above on this arch, above this Murti that sits there in Española, New Mexico, that says Munder. And it's just underneath where that golden murti, or above this golden murti there. They put offerings, money to this murti, and this is right where the Sikhnet offices are. Now, I mentioned how Sikhnet is against Sikhs. This was a statement that was sent to me by the Sikhnet creative director. And he says, your so-called true Punjabi Sikhs are nothing but a bunch of overly intellectual, violent radicals. This was Guru Jaut Singh Khalsa, the Sikhnet creative director, who said this and sent this to me in an email. There's a lot of racism there at Sikhnet. Let there be no doubt about it. When I was in 3HO, racism against Sikhs from the Punjab and traditional Sikhs was rampant. They all thought that traditional Sikhs did not know how to practice Sikhi. This is the Sikhnet offices there. This is right around the corner from that ugly Murti there. And you can even see here, there's a, there's a sign, a Sikhnet sign, right there by one of these Murtis. You can see their little blue sign there in the Sikh Dharma International sign. This is just like a Hindu Vata theme park there or something. These are statements by other people and Sikhs on the internet who are appalled at how they Sikhnet begs for donations. Dancing to Gurbani they do, and these are pujas they do. That same Hindu Swami I showed you before, he is invited there to their Española, New Mexico, solstice gathering, and they listen to his Hindu Vata Parchar. And Sikhnet promotes these. Gurmukhar, who visits there all the time. Gurmukhar sponsored a Hindu wedding there in Rishikesh at the, at the Pramatna Kirtan Ashram. This Hari Jeevan is the right-hand man of, of Yogi Bhajan. I was telling you about him and Kirtan Singh. And he says basically here, the Sikh leadership will go to the American Sikh yogis, is the way he puts it. It's a complete racist. You can see him here with Yogi Bhajan, this Hari Jeevan, who's a right-hand man of Yogi Bhajan. These are all people who control the Sikhnet agenda. Board of Directors has three of these members of the Board of Directors were at that event and trying to stop a brave Sikh. These are other Murtis there in Española that I'm showing you. Now my idea is to create a Sikh mission there in Española, New Mexico. I have some land there and I'd be happy to have anybody stay there. I have a house there also who would like to meet and talk about the Sikh mission. You can see here plans already that I've made for that. My number is 505-903-2675. Give me a call. Wahigajika Khalsa, Wahigajiki Fateh.